kind of a what is that flavor? It almost has a berry type taste to it. Yeah, I was like, say almost like it's like a berry. Like a fruity, taste. yeah. And this is the same experiment. This is me dropping the stuff in there. <laughs> I like that one they have in like the middle. Yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to get it down there. Well, that experiment may not have succeeded. Uh, this was a swarm. They seem to be doing really well when I saw them last. This is such a familiar. Some kind of berry really bushes, taste. Thinking, maybe? I mean, it could be. I mean, the blackberries are over there. Exactly right, blackberries. Ooh, I just like these covers. Again, see this little area? Mm -hmm. They could propolize it, and then beetles could be in there. But as I open this, it could release all the beetles. I should have bought more inner covers, I guess. <laughs> well, might be next on the list, right? <laughs> I probably don't need to buy them. I just need to make sure I sell everything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you I, sell if I sell it, then. I'll get back to where I want to be. I need to stop buying equipment. <laughs> right. Just talking. Wife's gonna get you, right? <laughs> I don't know that she, well, I don't know that she minds that I buy it. It's more the time that I am out here. Sometimes I'll spend a whole day out here because I take my time and go slow like I am today. At least you got me a thing. It's like I'm gonna you today. <laughs> <laughs> Just kept asking questions. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll blame it on you. I'll take it. I can take the hit. Eggs in every single cell, center cell. See them? Sure are, yeah. It took me a second to see them for the nectar and pollen. Again, pick up the nectar and the pollen near the front of the hive. Sometimes it's on the warm side, sometimes it's not. I, I like to I see them a lot of times just come into the hive and they just dump it off and go. So if I flip this, then they'll draw this other side out quick and then we should be good to go. The bad thing about that is I'll put the eggs on the exposed side, but that's why I like to have them in woodenware instead of in um, just those little the smaller oh, those little small. boxes that made it out of the sign. Because this at least has a tiny bit of R value. And they can keep it all warm. Oh, sorry. But seeing eggs like that, she's been there in the past 24 hours. Um, up to two days, but usually they start tipping over. Brood and larvae. Brood. Eggs all the way up to the outside perimeter. Oh wow, they really checked it out. Yeah. Those will be kept the next time I get in here. All in the middle there. Oh, the middle ones definitely. Yeah, they're just yeah. about ready. Mm -hmm. This is drawn out really well too. So we want to see that. Is that coming this way? I think it was this way. It's like a pressure washer. Mm -hmm. Electric yeah, pressure, pressure washer. washer. <laughs> so mine sounds like. <laughs> yeah. That's what it should be doing. Oh, you should be pressure washing? Probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. Yeah, this hobby can potentially break even and can potentially make you money. But I'll let you know if I ever get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me know when you have to break even. <laughs> wow. Eggs all the way to the corner. She's laid that up. Yeah. Golly, this is Lord. nice. Uh, see a queen on there? Let's take a look. Some interesting things I've seen too. I'm not sure what it is, but. Oop, sorry, girl, I got my finger on you. Oop, what is that? Can you try to sting me? Oh, yeah, there's a stinger in me. Okay. I can feel that one. I hope I'm smelling the uh, Laffy Taffy smell. Oh, where would she go? Oh, yep. She's gone now. Sorry, girls. Ooh, this sounds hot. It is. That's why we have the umbrella. <laughs> That's why it's okay to take breaks whenever you need to. Rush. It's supposed to be fun. Rush out of the way. Look at that, I'm tearing them open. You can see the eggs are, are in those too. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
So they built all that comb. I'm really hoping they built this foundation out. It doesn't look like they did. They're building in the middle before they're building anywhere else. <laughs> these will be these. I need to smoke my hand though. There was definitely a stinger in there. That's good. That's good. I bought that um, the beekeeper's Bible book, and I've been nice. reading it. It has like a nice little history of beekeeping and everything else. Yeah, it's been educational. Cool. I've got that. I have not been able to finish it. It's got a lot, for that's for it's sure. Just like, yeah. yeah, it starts from the very beginning. So maybe they did evolve from wasps, and then yeah, you read the book. I guess I don't know if I got far enough to know if I. I don't know. I, I like to do Wikipedia dives too. I mean, oh, okay. Boredom does things to you, you know. <laughs> Before, let's look at Wikipedia, because that's what's not blocked right now. <laughs> uh, let's see, looking for the Miss Madam Queen. Let's see here. And look at you. Oh, again. Come on, girls, draw the foundation now, not the bottom of the frame. <laughs> yeah, they are. I guess I gotta keep in mind, I, I think I marked all of them. There's a chance that I didn't mark them all. It's easy to mark them when they're small like this. They could not be friendly bees. We don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, but again, they're small enough that it probably isn't that big of a concern. But again, sideways. Mm -hmm. Don't know if there's a queen. Didn't see a queen. Uh, we may end up needing to mark her. I think I left all my marking stuff over there, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge if we get there. There should be a, a, a red pen and a yellow thingamajig. Thanks. Yeah, just look over there. I don't think I ever fed these girls. I probably should have to get them to draw a comb, but I, I'm, again, I'm hesitating because there's a flow. I, I don't want to have to spend money on stuff that they can do naturally. can't find a spot you can always move like this is there you go you got it and you just yeah, lift up right yep Bam. just give it a second and then take it all the way off this will probably fall off because it hasn't been on there very long there's no queen in this one this time i hope there wasn't one last time sometimes you can just do a little twist and oh, there you like go. Stick it. yep mm -hmm. we'll check underneath for the queen mm -hmm. i don't see anything nope nothing i'm gonna let you just set it right off right here Sometimes you can prop it up and put it near the front of the hive, but I usually just try to put it really close so if they want to, they can walk up and back in. Okay, yeah, I get, wait, I'll get two walls. <laughs> so I did give them this frame. Mm. So they had something drawn out, but these are skippers frames and these are Amazon frames. So this will mm. be the test. This will be the test. We'll see which ones are doing better. Let's see. I could, I could, almost, it. I could bet it's these. These are uh, premier, premier foundations. Most, a lot of people swear by these. But I see bees over here too. I don't know. Oh yeah, these are really tight. These are skipper's frames and skipper's boxes. Sometimes you can use a tool this way. I don't like to do this, but you should really start digging into the comb if there is any. Ooh. Whoa! Wow, you did. Again, these are sheets of bees here. 
Yeah. You weren't kidding when you said it was full. Yeah, he's <laughs> full of these. Man. And I don't have any more things to put them on, but... Seems starting to draw it out. Yeah, it's got nectar in it too. Excellent. It's an outside frame. And it's drawn out well. That's the sign of a good frame. Again, I have not seen the queen in here. I would bet she's in here. I haven't seen signs of the queen either because there hasn't been any drawn out comb except for this middle one. So, And if there was a virgin queen in here, then she would just be getting mature and doing mating flights maybe... Well, I can't remember if I got this a week ago or two weeks ago. She may have done her mating flights last week. Oop, I'm gonna switch sides? Yeah, I'm gonna switch sides, sorry. Uh, I don't see anything in there except for nectar. Nectar. They're drawing it out though. Yeah, hey. It's drawn out evenly and it's drawn out right. That's, like I said, it, that funky comb is because the foundation is not done, done out the way it should be. See anything in that one? I am not. I just see nectar and pollen. I don't see anything that I'm looking for. To know there's a queen here. Look, that girl's taking that. Huh. <laughs> like how they're building out of them right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put space. For some reason they do that with the plastic frames. I don't know if they're just a little shallower or if it's the texture they don't like or what. Well, they really, yeah, they definitely like to target the. I can build all over the plastic ones. Yeah. Some of the plastic ones are original ones from the nukes that I got too, so they're by far the oldest frames. So they, they could be the scent of the hive in there too. I see pollen. See anything in there? Mm. Maybe need to blow on them a little bit. See the skulls? Yep, there's eggs. Skipped over eggs. You kind of shading your own self. Oh yeah, I am. I'm kind of helping myself. Yeah, there. come back over here a second. Yeah, you only go back over there. Come on. I'm not helping myself there, but I can't explain. Okay, yeah, now I, I see it. So now the fun part is finding the queen that is not marked. <laughs> I don't think she's probably going to be in one of these frames. I found her. Yeah, found her? Yep. Let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Where would the eggs be? In the middle. Or on like that area, right? Yep. So let's look for a a coin. I feel like I'm getting warmer or colder. So Oh there yep, there she is. Now yep, now that you should I see her. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the queen. <laughs> yeah. Alright, queen marking tool. So let me catch her before she goes off. Open and that's open. All right, so you just gotta do this gently. Don't want to hurt her. See, they, they, yeah. Not a fan of that. Eh? Not a fan of that. But, ooh, 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 don't go out. I see where you are. She's in there. You really want to get her up on the side, and then you can just snap it shut. She's on the bottom. She, she wants to get out. Okay, so she's right there. If I see her in, you hold her for a second. Yeah, hold this. I'll take this. There you go. You always want to check. I've seen people accidentally completely douse their queen. Oh, I've seen a few of them too. Yes. Yeah, there you go. I'll let you do. Yep. So what we're, what we're aiming for here to get her so that her legs are on the bottom. Mm -hmm. She's touching the bottom. She's got her back yep. facing towards us. Just keep slowly moving it up. We don't want to hurt her in any way because that's not good. So now she's flipped the wrong direction. No rush. So she's belly side up now. <laughs> then, oop, there's, oop, nope, still belly. <laughs> there she flipped. Squeeze, don't squeeze too much, sweet girl. That's all she needs. You just let it dry out for a second. All right. And we'll just make sure that one of us is standing in the way so that she's in the shade. Gotcha, I got her in the shade now. Perfect. Up. Yeah. Two of them. She's empty. Oh, they're 
empty is probably just because it's the comb's kind of drawn out a little weird right there. I figured why not? You never know. Yeah, just a test beam. <laughs> and that's where we assume we would find her. Be right there in the middle. Go ahead and check the rest while she's not in there, and then we can. You can't move really fast either way because you don't want to crush bees, but you can move a little faster and not be as concerned. And see, I don't need to use the tool on these because it hasn't been in there so long as everything's propolized. But I'm I'm fine with their attitudes. I don't see any issues. Yeah, they've really been. I've not. They've been just like the others, really. Yeah. And they're doing a good job drawing this out. I don't see any wonky comb. Yet. They really are. They're doing a really good job. So yeah, they're doing it pretty evenly across there too. Now it does have a black dot, so I did roll extra on here. Some of those other ones I probably didn't roll extra on, and that's why they're not drawn out the way they need to be. See, this one doesn't have a black dot, so if we have a wonky comb, it's going to be on this thing. This is a hive that it probably would have been better to give. Well, you can give them drawn-out comb, but no, no wonky comb. Hmm. They are starting to draw it. You can see the oh, yeah, you white rims on it. They're getting there. There's enough bees they can do it. Um, they don't have a lot of places to put stores. Feeding could stimulate them to draw it out. If you wait too long and you don't feed them, then they're not going to want to draw it out. They all seem to be sort of drawing it out, so it's good enough. Skipper's boxes are a little narrower, so there's less chance of getting that um, bridge comb. And I think, I wouldn't say his are a little narrow. His are probably the, you know, the correct size, and the man lakes are probably just a little wider. There's advantages to that, and there's disadvantages. Sometimes it's easier to get the frames out if there's more room. For sure, yet. Yeah. Although, you know, if you have smaller gloves, it's probably not too bad. Yeah. The big black definitely seems like to wear regular ones. Yeah. Like, oh, gosh. Well, it, it's, his is shorter this way, but it's also shorter, narrower. Mm. So like getting that frame over and sliding it over, that yeah. can be that can be tricky as well. I have but to just use the high tool sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I had the J hook one, I'd show you that one a little bit. It makes things a little easier. All right. And she's in the shade. She looks good. She still has her dot. I think she's got some on her belly too. That would. Uh, I hope not. No, I think so. I thought okay, it might have been how I saw the reflection. All right. This is the. To you appeal. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you, girl? She's on it. I mean, she's on it right now. It. She needs to be off of it. So her girl feet. She is. Come on down, girl. Come on. There she is. Come on, my finger. Mm -hmm. Heading down. Go on in there, girl. There we go. There she is. Yellow. Mostly yellow, but tiger striped. And then these, these are her pheromone will be in there, so she's going to make sure to close that back up. Great. So, another queen marked. This hive's in pretty good shape. They seem like they may be able to use a uh, a little bit of feed to help them draw out, but I don't know that... The, the other concern I have is if I boost them really hard and they fill it out, they've got nowhere to go. If I let them build up naturally on their own, it won't go as fast. Yeah, they can go at their own speed, and then if, if oop, see, oh darn, sometimes it doesn't kill them. Uh, if they go at their own speed, um, girls, then the timing may be right where, where like you when you want to get bees, mm -hmm. you know, that could be a month from now, and then they could be ready. Or if I, go ahead, you're good, you're good. If you uh, if I pound them out and I. To get them built up, then um, yeah, I got feet or something. Yeah, you got it. Pretty good. The uh, yeah, if I get them ready and they have to go out in a week, then they either have to go out in a week or they're gonna want to try to swarm. Or I don't have any more boxes to put on them, so kind of get in a bad situation. <laughs>